Hi everybody, this is Miss Nelson again, and today we're doing lesson 2.8 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. This lesson is about multiplying using mental math, and the way that we do this is, basically this, this lesson 2.8 is all the different strategies that you can use to multiply. So we have some different properties in math that help you to solve multiplication problems. So you need to know the, what the different properties are and how to use them. So we start off here with um, the commutative property. And the commutative property just means that you can switch the numbers around and multiply in any order. So for example, we have the problem 4 times 7 times 25. And normally you would just go 4 times 7 and then whatever that answer is times 25. Well, the commutative property tells us that we can switch those numbers around to make it easier. So whenever I see 25, I think of that as quarters and I want to multiply the 25 times the 4 because I can think of that easily in my head, that's mental math, as 4 quarters equals a dollar or a hundred cents. So I can write 100 in here as my answer for that problem. And then I just take that and multiply it by my last number, which is 7. 100 times 7, that's an easy multiplication problem. That just gives me 700. So switching around those numbers using the commutative property makes it a lot easier to multiply. So that's property number 1 for this lesson. Property number two is called the associative property. And you know it's associative property if you see parentheses around two of your numbers. So this problem says six times 10, whatever that answer is, times 10, because you always do what's in the parentheses first. So using the associative property, I can switch those parentheses around to make it an easier math problem for me. Um, so they're saying they think it would be easier to do 10 times 10 first and then multiply whatever that answer is by 6. So we all know 10 times 10 is 100. And so again, like above, anytime we have 100, that becomes a really easy problem. 100 times 6 is 600. So that's property number 2, associative property. You can always identify that as the one with the parentheses. Property number three it's actually not property number three but it's this is doing both at the same time both commutative and associative so we see in our in our multiplication problem four times nine and then that answer times 250 we see down here that what they're going to do is they're going to use the commutative property first so they're going to move some of the numbers around and then they're going to change the parentheses around meaning they're going to change which problem you do first. So they took four times nine, doing that first, and then and then times 250, and they commuted or moved the numbers around. So now they changed it to 250 times four times nine. And then lastly, they moved the parentheses to say, let's do first 250 times four, and then whatever that answer is, multiply it by nine. So 250 times 4, we can do our ba basic fact of 25 times 4, or 4 quarters, and then add the 0. So 250 times 4 equals 1,000. I'm going to write it bigger over here so you can see. 1,000, and then we'd have that times 9. So that would be 9 thousand. So that's putting together both the commutative and the associative properties. Okay, then we have the, let me move this page now, see if I can do it. Okay, so now on this next step here, we, let me change the page view. Eh, yep. It was going, now it's not, okay. We have the other four properties that they want you to learn about. So, I'm sorry, just a second. Let me make sure it's changing the page. Okay, 
scroll down, scroll down. There we go. Okay, here's the other four strategies or properties that you can use for multiplying. Friendly numbers comes first here. And what it means when it says friendly numbers is you can break up one of the numbers or two even in your multiplication problem to some easier numbers to multiply by. So for instance, if we have the problem 24 times 250, we can think, well, 24 is kind of hard to multiply by. So I'm going to break that 24 up into 6 times 4 and 4 times 250 equals 1,000. So 24 times 250 equals 6 times 4 times 250. So see here what they've done is they've taken the 24 and changed it into a new multiplication problem. 6 times 4 is 24 and then they're going to multiply by 250. So the new problem 6 times 4 times 250. We can now multiply 4 times 250 because this is kind of like my 4 quarters with adding on a 0. So that would be 100 is how many 4 quarters are plus add on that extra 0. So 1,000. So 6 times 1,000. And then we know 6 times 1,000 is equal to 6,000. So friendly numbers means taking one or more of your numbers and breaking it up into an easier number to multiply by. So in this case, they broke up 24 into 6 times 4. Okay, then another strategy or property is using having and doubling. So for instance, they give us the problem 16 times 50. Well, I don't know my 16 timetables, so I want to break up this 16 in half. It can be divided evenly by 2. That's having. So now I'm going to have 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So now I have 8 times 50 instead of 16 times 50. And then I can just use my basic fact, which is 8 times 5, which is 40, and add on my extra 0, so 400. So I've done the halving part, and then I need to just double my answer of 400. So 400 and 400 is 800. So the property using halving and doubling means first cut this number in half and do the multiplication problem. So instead of instead of 16 times 50 we're doing the problem 8 times 50 and then take your answer and double it to get the final answer this kind of went over down here over the line that's the doubled answer okay next property is using addition so if we were given the problem multiply 4 times 625 we can break up this 625 into an addition problem. So 4 times 625 can become 4 times 600 plus 25. And you have to make sure that the number you're breaking up goes in parentheses in your new problem. So then I can do 4 times 600 part first. And that's easy because we just do our basic fact of 4 times 6 equals 24 and add our two zeros onto it. And then the second problem, 4 times 25, so there's our four quarters again. We know that's equal to 100. And then I just add them. 2,400 plus 100 is 2,500. So the ad using addition property just means take your number and break it up into an addition problem. So knowing that, you should know the using subtraction 
property just means that you're going to, instead of breaking it up into an addition problem, you'll just break it up into a subtraction problem. So if it says multiply five times 398, I'm going to take this 398 and break that up into a subtraction problem. So 5 times 398 will become 5 times 400 minus 2. We always want to choose a number that's an even number so that we can multiply easily. I mean, I'm sorry, not an even number, but a number that has zeros at the end. So then our problem will be 5 times 400 minus, since it's a subtraction problem, minus 5 times 2. So they've already done 5 times 400 for us, and they said that's 2,000 minus 5 times 2 is 10. So 2,000 minus 10 is 1,990. All right, so those are the different properties that you can use to solve multiplication problems. I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave me a comment.